In 2018, we left all we had ever known behind in Florida to make our way to Alaska in an attempt to drive our truck camper from Alaska to Argentina. We made it to the top of the world and turned south only to confront one challenge after another. But along the way, we fell in love with the road and realized that our call to wander would need an RV with a little more space. So we sold our truck camper and purchased a 22-year-old Class C motorhome that needed just a little bit of TLC. This is the story of how we spent six months remodeling our new home on the road. What have you done? What have I done? What have you done to my construct? I had to stain the, or stain, I had to seal the wood. But. It's looking good. But it's not together. Nope. Because yeah. I have to keep adding coats. But you, but you broke it. I didn't break it. You broke it. I didn't break it. You broke it. I just unscrewed it. That's it goes broke. right back. Okay, don't do that. Don't mess around with it too much. We are back together. In the camper at the same time, which hasn't what? happened in like a week. What? No, it's Sunday. Lindsay's usually working on Sunday, but she met her goal. Her goal. We got an earnings goal, so we can try to stay on budget for what our goals are, um, but at the same time not get burned out of work. So she scrambled extra hard this week, busted out, so she's got a day off to work on the camper with me. Today is my, normally I sit around and chill out and get caught up on Netflix and stare at the computer screen trying to do some work on our website that I end up not doing. So instead, we came out here because Lindsay's off and we're gonna co-work together to knock out a project or two or we're three. Gonna, we're gonna finish that backsplash in the kitchen. So she's coating the cedar in our shower with water locks which will beat up the water and make it so it doesn't get absorbed into the wood. Obviously, it's a really dumb idea to put wood in a shower. <laughs> but um, it's cedar. Because, cedar naturally. Yeah, because wood because. likes to hold on to water and then it rots and all that stuff. So we're putting this cedar is a little bit more water resistant, but we're also putting this water locks on there, which will beat it up. It'll make it just like a normal shower wall. Plus, with the installation of this shower curtain here, we will be able to have the our shower curtain rod. We'll have a shower curtain, which should keep water off the wood for the most part. But um, this is a very important process that Lindsay's working on right now. And it needs, what, three or four or five coats? Yeah, it needs a lot. Just so your 2N, something two in. like that. So she might as well do it now, let it dry, and then do another one this afternoon. Yeah. And we'll get started on the, on the tile project. Lindsay and I are going to take the window cover off, or I'll take the window cover off here. And then we'll get this all nice and prettied up. And then we'll be able to move the countertop in. And then try to determine where we're going to be cutting the sinkhole. There are only so many options based on what's in existence. So we're going to see about that. On that note, I'm going to go get my tools for the job, which is going to be my screw gun. And... Um, yeah, we'll get all set up and then we'll jump into this and bring you along as we can. Find out. Is it gonna fit? Look at that. Yeah? Look at that. That's gonna work. Wow. 
looking good. Now we just gotta trim around the well, This one we know oven. we're gonna have to take. Yeah, we gotta take the top off. So we gotta make sure we... Make sure it matches up with that. Is it that one? Mm -hmm. Make that line up, and then the rest of it should line up. If it line, those line up, then the rest should line up. Okay. Yeah. So that's the top. Yeah. What a day, what a day. It has been a struggle to get this done. Glad we're working as a team. Yeah, this would have been Lindsay couldn't have done possible it. without Chris. <laughs> and I wouldn't have been able to do all the little details that she's finessing right now. In fact, I've given up on it. I started playing a game on my phone, huh. which is counterproductive to everything. I actually don't have games on my phone. I was just checking the price of Bitcoin, seeing uh, how regretful I am that I did not buy Bitcoin five years ago when I was told to. In any regard, um, Lindsay has got this pretty well put together in rough form. What we did was we patterned it out and we cut little pieces where we needed to um, out of uh, paper, paper bags. <laughs> and we just shaped how we needed to around the window. And then we cut the pattern out on the actual tile itself and place them up there and as we got them in place and we got them situated we taped them so we could hold the position and kind of match everything on there um i would not do this if i was paving uh, a walkway i'd put the pavers exactly where i wanted them i'd set them in the sand and you know lock them in place but with this once we or once Lindsay takes over and starts gluing them in they're going to be more permanent we didn't want to do that and then have some some cluster where we had to pull them off because as you know by now everything we do takes more than one maybe more than two sometimes five or six times of doing it so we didn't want to have to rip the wall apart and try to start from scratch we are really really close to having the template just trying to notch out around the stove but we'll, we'll slide the cutting board back in or the cutting board the countertop and i can slide the stove in at that point and we can kind of see how this is going to look all together and try to figure out the best spot for the um, sink. The sink. Got Definitely. it. Hmm? Sorry, I had to make that announcement. We captured it live on GoPro camera, which isn't live and won't be out for three months. We have the finished backsplash finally. Oh my goodness, what a pain. It's so worth it, it's so pretty. It was a pain, but worth it. If you ever use this tile as a backsplash, just know it is a headache trying to get the pieces to match, <laughs> to match up because you have to, it has to match. If it doesn't, then the whole pattern is screwed up. So how do you feel about today? I'm just glad we got that done because that was... You look angelic. <laughs> do I? There's a, the, the sun's coming in the window like right over your head. No, you have mm -hmm. like Jesus coming in <laughs> on your shoulder. Jesus or an angel. <laughs> He's looking out over me. I, I literally can't see you right now. <laughs> um, it, it, it looks nice. It's funny because I hardly see any go. light. 
Anyways, uh -huh. you got rid of it. And Jesus is gone. But I'll... Okay. He said he'd come back. No, again. I'm so glad this is done because this was a major thing that needed to get finished that I've kept putting off and off and off. And it needed to be done so we could install the countertop and the sink. And Jesus is back. Gone. Back. Back. Here. Yep. There. Yep. Nope. It doesn't matter what you do. <laughs> <laughs> it matters what I do. There, whoa, 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 come here, come here, come here. I should write a book, Capturing Jesus. This is not heretical for Christians. I am waiting for Jesus to come back. It will be a great and glorious day. It will be loud, there will be trumpets, and everybody in the world will see him. So, because I can see him right now and I'm the only one, I don't think it's really Jesus. I think it's just the sun coming through the window. And YouTube's going to censor this video. Because I said I like Jesus? <laughs> yeah, I don't know. Cause, yeah. <laughs> I love Jesus. I do. And if YouTube censors us for that, then maybe we'll get a whole new audience because that's ridiculous. So, I don't think that's going to happen. No, probably not. But I also don't but think that... the way this world's going. I don't think Jesus is coming in on your shoulder. I, I, don't, I don't... I think that's just the sun. However... Well. What's up, Evers? It's 80 degrees today and we are all feeling it. On that note, it's time to go. I'm going to go get those lures attached to those fishing poles. And we're going to go fishing. Bye, Felicia. If you're still watching. You probably left by now. <laughs>